Surprise, we got a mid-journey update before version 8. We now have access to the brand new version 7 of the Niji model. This is the anime focus generator. And this thing is pretty sick. It's pretty stunning. You'll notice right away that the colors are so vibrant. Like that might be the most fun part about it. At least at first glance, right? Like take a look at some of these pictures. They're so fun to look at. Niji 7 definitely has its own style. Oh, look at that one, that's crazy. And as you can see here, it does a pretty good job with text. Those examples were created by a member of my private group, the Future Tech Academy. We're over on the school platform and we're having a lot of fun keeping up with AI and checking this out. Like take a look at this example from Renee. Here we have this prompt in version six of Niji and then there it is in version seven. I feel like that's a pretty big difference. And then look at the colors that Sam was getting here. That is one of the coolest pictures. I love that so much. And like maybe you could get that kind of style with mid journey and then adjusting the colors after, but it is pretty cool to see a new model do this by default. And then here are some of my examples. I love the watercolor origami test and Niji 7 definitely knocks it out of the park. Like these are amazing. If you want to try this yourself, you can type dash dash Niji space seven at the end of your prompt. Or if you want to make it easier for yourself, you can go into your settings here and then under model, we want to find version, click on the seven, the drop down menu here, scroll down all the way at the bottom. We'll see Niji seven right here. Now Niji will be the default model that triggers whenever you type a prompt. Batman driving a pink batmobile while that's generating let's take a look at our squirrels here having a picnic in the park pretty cute pretty detailed it is exciting every time there's a new model update they keep pushing the capabilities and this niji model is actually a bit of a surprise so it's a little more fun in that sense like this is the best belated christmas gift ever here's our batman in the pink batmobile again i think this did a pretty good job it's very anime inspired so you're going to get those funny proportions from time to time, you know, the chibi look by default. And one quick thing I can share is that the aspect ratio definitely makes a big difference. Like when you use the default square frame, you tend to get a lot of these isolated portraits, like mostly these white backgrounds, sometimes colored like you can see in the pink here. Same thing here with the eagle made of stardust. Sure, it doesn't happen every time, but I notice this a lot with the square ratio. Whereas when you expand the frame in either direction, you know, vertically, horizontally, the bot seems to fill in the background scenes a little bit more. Definitely not every time, but again, that seems to be what I noticed. So maybe a little pro tip is to mention the background in your prompt. That might solve a lot of your issues. Like here you can see the difference between me specifying that I wanted a winterized Gotham City and not mentioning a background at all. It seems that the bot's not necessarily just going to create a scene for you. So yeah, keep that in mind. You know what? Let's do a quick test here with the style creator. Does Niji work in the style creator? I'm going to take a guess that the answer is no, because this new model doesn't work with a couple of other features right now either. We'll get to those in a second, but let's leave this and try it out. Actually, yeah, it does seem to work. So that's kind of cool. Maybe play around with that if you want. And maybe I should have known that it was going to work because style reference codes do work with this new Niji model. So one thing I highly suggest you try is exploring with SREF random. It can be a lot of fun. Let's go with a bit of a different prompt though. Let's try something like, oh, I feel like I'm so boring when I write my prompts. Do you ever feel that way? I always fall back on the same subjects. So let's go with a retro futuristic robot. And then I'm gonna type dash dash S R E F. I'm gonna leave a space and then I'm gonna type the word random. And because I'm feeling a little extra frisky today, I'm gonna type dash dash repeat and then a number like seven. And this is gonna create my prompt in seven different random styles. I think doing this will really give you a sense of what Niji is capable of. You're gonna see a lot of different color schemes. You're gonna see a lot of different design choices. I think this is a lot of fun. I know it's a bit blurry right now, but you can already start to see what I'm talking about. I definitely like these ones down here. Eh, these are interesting. I actually love these ones for sure. Okay, we got some pretty cool colors here. A little red and white here. Oh man, look how crisp these are. That's amazing. Like, legitimately. Can you find a single line on here that's not... Wow, that is... Uh... I got goosebumps right now. Chills, man. That's a big step up in quality. Yeah, that's incredible. That's a perfect coloring page. Just 
fresh out of the box. Awesome. Hey, and if you want uh, this code yourself, it is right here. You don't need the two colons and the one that's just a little behind the scenes notation. This style is this style code right here, 342558631. And I can actually show you what that might look like in the regular mid-journey algorithm. If I do this, oh, I like these ones too, by the way. That's pretty cool. Okay, you know what? Maybe this style code is just perfect for coloring pages. Like these are pretty sick too. I mean, well, actually, no. If you look a little closer, it's a little less crisp. This is in Midjourney V7, the regular by default for everyone algorithm. And like, it's not perfect, but in Niji, like it legit is. Is that on my screen? No, okay, it looks like there's one little mistake right there, but like, oh, that's pretty good. And while we're on the subject of random style codes, Niji 7 actually works with the old batch of codes, as in style version 4. So at the end of your style reference prompt, you can type dash dash sv space 4, and this will give you another random set of styles, but these styles will come from the previous batch of styles. If you know anything about Midjourney, I hope that makes a little bit of sense. Basically, they reset the style codes a couple of months ago, so we have literally billions and billions, like 8 billion codes, to sort through and choose from. It uh, it can definitely be overwhelming, but yeah, these are pretty cool. And I guess I can just show you exactly what I mean. So this is a futuristic robot with this style code here on SV4. So if we do this again, except this time, we ask for style version six, that code is going to create a completely different style. You see, so just be aware of that. There's always more rabbit holes to explore. Look at the details in here. That is amazing. That's really cool. Okay, let's run a little test because this model is supposed to have a bit better prompt understanding. So let's try and come up with a big scene here. We could say a scene at the park. A man on the left side is drinking a coffee. The man is wearing a blue coat. We'll say there is a wizard in the middle of the frame. The wizard is wearing a green cloak. The wizard is pointing his wand at the sky. We'll say there is a woman on the right side of the scene. The woman is wearing a yellow puffer jacket. The woman is... What, what's the woman doing? The woman is talking on a payphone. That's kind of interesting. We'll say there are apple trees in the background and let's leave it at that and let's see if it can create this scene we'll give it a wide aspect ratio maybe that prompt suck maybe that's going to be easy for it to create i really don't know i'm kind of doing this on the fly here but this will hopefully give you a sense of what niji journey can and will listen to i mean yeah Okay, I'm sort of impressed, I'm not gonna lie. Obviously this is very blurry to look at right now, but I'm seeing most of the assets that I mentioned. I think I sort of tripped it up with the payphone. Like she's not really on the payphone, but she's on a phone. The wizard is certainly pointing to the sky. Oh, and by the way, she's wearing a puffer jacket. Like that's a pretty cool detail. The wizard's wearing a cloak and the man is wearing a blue coat drinking a coffee. Like that's pretty cool. Again, I think my prompt kind of sucked. I mean, <laughs> You know what, even in this one right here, that looks like some apples in the background, so I'm happy about that. Okay, wait, let's get to some things that don't work. You might be tempted to do this. A dog, dash dash P, and it's going to say unknown flag. Personalization does not work with Niji 7 right now. I say right now because there's a pretty good chance it will work in the future. I don't see why not, because if I did this, a dog, dash dash P, and then I typed Niji 6, it will work. Personalization has definitely worked with Niji in the past. This is created in my own personal style. So again, I think we can look forward to this at least sometime in the future. But because personalization does not work right now, that means mood boards do not work either, which is a bit of a shame. Again, I guess we just have to wait, but I hope that comes soon. And since mood boards don't work right now, there's one trick you're gonna have to do to recreate a consistent look. Like let's say you created a cool picture, you found a cool style, without using the style reference codes. How do you recreate it? Well, we can just use the traditional style reference feature. So I don't have a code that I can attach to my next prompts, but I can click, hold, and drag on a picture, 
and bring it up to the style reference. Now, if I were to ask for a dog, there's a pretty good chance it's gonna look a lot like this picture. And feel free to include the rest of the style description. I think that probably does help. Like, yeah, it's not completely necessary, but it does provide a different look. Just remember to try that out when you find a style that you like, but don't have a style code attached to it. Again, until mood boards are implemented. And then there's one last thing you're gonna wanna know about. You may have noticed it already too, there's no character reference, there's no Omni reference. Again, I might sound like a broken record, but we can only hope that this feature gets implemented sooner than later. There's your introduction to NiG7. Please let me know if I missed anything, any cool styles you find. If you want to talk about it with me directly and the rest of my community, make sure you check out the Future Tech Academy in the description below. I also have a free mood board pack that you should download for future reference. It's like a big menu to explore. It's a lot of fun. And I figured out a pretty good workflow for the style creator. If you want to learn more about that, make sure you check out this video now. I hope you're doing well, take care, and I'll see you next time. Peace.